Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ms. Roxanne. This is Daily Rambles. Today we are doing Arrow. We're going back to DC and we're doing the um, season of three. And we're doing the episode Corto Maltese. So we start off the episode with a Thea flashback and she decided she doesn't want to be her anymore ever again. And so um, Malcolm agrees and takes her away. Then we go back to the present where Oliver is trying to get answers and about where Thea is. She's saying she's in Rome, she's doing this, she's doing that. But um, she's in Corto Maltese. And then uh, so Oliver goes to find her. And uh, <laughs> Roy has never been on a plane before. <laughs> So he doesn't know what to expect, and, um, but he wants to go as well. And then uh, Wyla asks Diggle to also go with them and to check on an agent there because he's been MIA and has to answer his phone calls and stuff. And then Laurel talks to a boxer to get off all, all of her frustrations out. And so that way she can kind of rein in a little bit. They have a flashback scene where Thea's training and is not pretty. I mean, ooh. I mean, he put like hot wax on her hand and all this type of crap. Crazy. Didn't make her like build up a strength and not to get burned. Then we go back to the prison where Oliver finds her and they start to talk a little bit. And then, um, then we go, uh, then we come back to um, Starling City where Felicity got a corner office. She so says she's like. One of the big wigs in the company. So that's kind of cool. And then um, we find out someone saw um, Soul Infant off of Argus. And then Laurel is in AA talking how frustrated she is about Sarah dying and how she can't really tell anybody and all that type of stuff. So that's very sad, you know. So it's really good character development, really good scene. And then um, Diggle is asking the guy way too many freaking questions about all this information and where the buy's happening, and because um they set up a, so they know like a buyer's buying the information of Argus's um peoples and their families and their alias aliases, and uh, it turns out the Argus agent is actually the seller and tries to kill Diggle and everybody, and. Yeah, so that's not good. And then we cut to Roy talks to Thea. Then we have a flashback where there's more Thea training. And I think this one's on the swords. And she's, like, really good with the swords. Like, really, really good. And then we go back to present day where um, Felicity gets swamped at work. So basically, she's getting effort from Argus. She's doing her job. Then Laurel's calling her, asking for favors. And then she's just like, everyone just shut up. Just shut up. So uh, then Laurel tries to beat up a guy, but it doesn't go too well because um, in a meeting, they meet this girl who's been beat up a lot by her boyfriend, and um, that's also a drinker, but they can't really do anything because they're in the AA meeting, so that's why they can't really do anything because it's basically done a confidence in a group, and you're not allowed to really go to the law during group. It's very sad, but that's what happens. And so uh, she got so bad, she got up, she ended up in the hospital. And then, um, then we cut to Oliver and he wants to tell Thea the truth and tell her about, um, her dad and all that type of stuff. And then, um, we cut to where the buy is happening, um, for the information. And then a third party shows up. And then Oliver uh, starts shooting people with a gun after he runs out of arrows. So, um, and they're just like, he's like, what? I told you I don't like to use guns, and now I've never done it before. Because, <laughs> like, he has, like, a really good aim for someone that said he doesn't like guns. Like, he has excep exceptional aim, which I think is kind of funny. And then, um... Then go back. Then Oliver gets back to Starling City after the whole thing goes down. So they do get their information back, and it turns out it's secure. The then Oliver uh, is back in Starling City, and Oliver refuses to train 
Laurel. Period. So she goes to the boxer, and so they start. So she starts um, training with the boxer. Then um, Felicity just needs a break from everybody, and so she goes to Central City. And then we have Nissa showing up at the last minute, demanding where Sarah is. And that's how we leave this episode. So overall, really good episode. I really, really liked it. I'll give us another A plus episode. It's really good. I love all the action scenes and stuff, and I love how they made makeshift um, bow and arrows with literally the bed that they had in the hotel room and like pieces of glass and just like from a mirror and stuff. And they just made it to a makeshift bow and arrow, which I thought was really, really cool idea to do. So I really, really like that, and I just like all the scenes and how Thea's being super strong and stuff now, and that's really crazy. And you can kind of see it because, um, uh, when she agrees, she did agree to go back to Starling with Oliver, and so um, this guy spilled all, all this hot coffee on her, and she just kind of just gets a little t- um, towel or neck and just wipes it off like nothing ever happened whatsoever. So she, you can tell that she's super, you know, she's resilient. So, of course, you kind of kind of have to be in, be in that family. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to do it for me. So um, if you like this, please give it a like. Comment down below what your favorite part of the episode was. And then subscribe for more stuff coming up. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.